Now we feature a lot of male deal makers on this YouTube channel. I want you to meet a female deal maker who's done the most incredible first deal. Alison's gonna tell you exactly how she bought a hardware store without using a penny of her own money. If you're serious about buying a business, then take my brand new, completely free training course. There's a link somewhere up here in the corner of the video. Click the link, take the course, and you could be buying a business in the next 100 days. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, tap the notifications bell, and you will receive a notification the next time I release a new video. So I'd like to introduce you to the person who won the new deal maker of the year for 2022. Would you please give a very warm welcome <laughs> to Alison Roylance White? <laughs> Thank you. It's a very big place. Very big place. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Alison. Yes. So we've known each other a while now. Yes. Um, uh, tell us, just give us a quick 60 seconds on background. Mm -hmm pre-acquisitions so we can see where you where you come from okay so originally from edinburgh um, was in retailing department store ironmongery that kind of thing joined a national wholesaler who deals with gardening diy and housewares moved to england to run depots and then i went in nationally to to do stuff for them um, from there i've run big charities representing the northwest um, and then started my own businesses because I, I like systems to follow um, that then generate me income on a regular basis where I don't necessarily have to do the work every single day. So, you know, kind of like an author gets paid the royalties or whatever, and that kind of system. So systems work for us. Fantastic. Uh, so what caught your eye then about buying a business? Because this is a departure from yeah. what, you've, what you've previously done. Yeah, absolutely. So this is my Tom and Jerry moment where my eyes suddenly go to pound signs, okay? So this, this maybe gives a big hint about my Edinburgh life. Um, I listened, through Progressive Property, I listened to you for an hour, doing a session one evening, and you talked about buy and build. So you buy a business that's already profitable, that's on the go, it gives you cash flow and money coming in on a regular basis, you build a group, and then you sell, sell it for multiples. And when I started to work out the multiples, I was going kitching. So that's kind of me. Kitching, <laughs> Ab absolutely. So, 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 so this, and we haven't really talked about it at all this weekend, but it's basically buying at one price, selling at yeah. another. Um, yeah. And you know, small businesses trade at, or can be bought at lower, at lower yes. valuations. Larger businesses that are more robust um, you know, have, 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 a, have, a, have a better future yeah. because their larger businesses can weather the storm, have a higher, a higher value. Uh, so you, you buy it, the, the, put them together, to, and you got the, the outcome. Yeah, yeah. Ab, ab, absolutely. So, so th there was a degree of financial motivation in, in this. Yeah, I think that'd be to, fair. To, to fund lifestyle. Yes, yes, absolutely. And we, you know, my husband and I, were of an age now where we don't have parents, we don't have kids. So we have a mission in four years' time to be living abroad, moving around different places. So as long as I've got the internet, I need businesses that I can run from anywhere in the world. So that's another of my, uh, my system things. Yeah. And with the other stuff that we already do, we can do that. We manage the managers, so. Yeah, ex ex excellent. Um, so so you, found, you found me. Yep. Um, and uh, Harassed you ever since. You harassed, harassed me ever since. <laughs> and it's all my fault, right? Absolutely, all, all your fault. fault. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I, I, I believe that you looked at several different sectors yeah. before you settled on where you are now. Just explain that thought process, which I think would be particularly beneficial to people who are thinking, I want to do this, but I'm not quite sure what type of business mm. to buy. So with my background being retailing and being in wholesaling and you know, with DIY and gardening and stuff, I first of all looked at garden centres, because I thought you can make a really good destination centre if you've got the right piece of land, you've got the cafes where you draw people in for other things, you can have units on them where you're getting monthly rent. So even during the winter, you've got automatic income coming in. I sent out a whole batch of letters. I got two responses, um, one from a lady who worked by herself up in Manchester who had a turnover of 60,000 and her accountant had told her to ask for 60,000 for the business um, and she wanted to walk away so there was no business to buy. And at the other end, I had a lady who had a one and a half million pound business 
who was wanting to emigrate to New Zealand before inheritance tax changed. So anything that was deferred, she wanted an escrow. So those were two quite interesting learning curves. Mm -hmm. Um, neither of those worked for us. And then my husband and I sat down, we thought, Do you know, where else are the skills? And my skills are also in hardware. So I'm buying hardware shops. So if you need hammers, nails, your M6 bolts, whatever, I'm your lass. Yeah, great. So, 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 so this is, uh, again, um, th th there, is, there is a little bit of a, uh, a crossover with like a Robert Dias mm. type operation, mm -hmm. if you know that, if you know that, yep. uh, that chain. Okay. Um, so, so tell us about the way that you found that first deal. Okay, so it's just been letters. Letters all the time. I've sent them out. We have the discovery call template ready. Um, we try and have a system where we time the letters to go out when we've not got so much on the following week. My husband tends to answer the calls and do the first lot of screening. Um, start off by just saying a little bit about us and putting in some of our background, which gets people to know that we know about the industry. Um, but he screens them. If they're not big enough turnover, don't have the staff, they're already parked in a nice way. Um, but then we ask for the accounts. That's where we evaluate them because I've got my little spreadsheet I built up. So I know roughly how the numbers should look. Um, and then that gives me the chance to ask questions. If I like the questions and we get still getting on well, we might have an idea at that stage of what sort of numbers they're looking for, um, but then we go and visit them. Okay. But so, letters, definitely letters. Yeah, so, so the, the point that you're also making, I think, is that you, you go and see them only when you have a degree of, I'm sorry, yeah. I've, got, I've, got a, I've got a sneeze building up. I can, I can, I can feel <laughs> it in the, in the background. It's gonna surprise me any moment. Um, you, you've, got a, <laughs> you've got a degree of certainty. Yeah that this is something that's going yeah, to happen. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So one of my, the first ones that we went to see that I was really excited about, um, 600,000 turnover. My world is a little bit smaller than my multi-million colleagues, but I'm working on it. Um, 600,000 turnover, and they made a net profit of 132,000. So I'm thinking, well, that's quite a nice cash flow right from the get-go. Um, they're both in their 70s, as you were talking about before, mm. of an age thing. He has really bad Parkinson's, so he was trying to sort out the estate, I think, for her, just in case something was going to happen to him. So, um, so there we go. So we went to see them. We're driving across. I took my husband, because I can be a wee bit direct. I can be a bit blunt. So I take him along to sort of smooth things over a bit every now and again. Um, so we went to see them, and I'm thinking, oh, God, they probably want three times, whatever. Where am I suddenly going to find 300 grand or what have you? And I went in, and it was like, you know, I know you want to sell. And I, in this day and age, I can't really ask you, what would you love? It's like, what do you need? Really, what do you need? And um, they said, right, 200 grand all in. And if I hadn't done that, I might have been more thinking they're going to ask okay. three to 400,000. So if you'd made an offer, yep. you had this figure three to four yep. in your head, you would have gone with a higher number than their expectation. Absolutely. So actually, just by doing it in the prescribed way, yeah. you saved potentially 100, 100. to 200 Absolutely. at the top end. Yeah. Absolutely. You just have to remind your face not to look surprised and too happy at that stage. You still have to do that, oh, do you know, it's quite a lot really, quite a lot really. I'm interrupting your video with a very important message. If you are watching a video like this, it's probably because you're serious about buying a business. But watching free videos on YouTube will only take you so far. You need to take the next step. And the next step is a link that's somewhere on the screen up at the top, uh, which takes you through to our free video training. There's no cost whatsoever. You watch the free video training and that will give you some of the essential basics that you need. Now, if you get value from that, then I would invite you to be part of my next Fast Track program. Now, the Fast Track program has been running for a couple of years now. We've had nearly 3,000 people around the world on the Fast Track program, and it's a Zoom program that you can attend from anywhere. Uh, it's broadcast from my living room to your living room, where I will teach you what you need to know to go and buy your first business. And there's a Q&A section at the end of each of the training sessions, so you can ask me all of your questions. Now, if you get great value from that and you're really serious about buying a business, 
Then there's my mastermind program, a 12 month program where we hold your hand through the business buying process so that you can buy your first company. And when you have, I'll invite you into our inner circle, which is exclusively for people who've bought their first business. So that's what we've got lined up for you. It's up to you whether you take the next step. Anyway, back to the video. Now, the downside, and this is where we've been doing system, 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 screeching halt was because they wanted it all up front because of the Parkinson's and everything else. And I'm thinking, well, actually, do you know what? To get to, to have effectively paid myself that back in a year and a half, I think we should do this. So we agreed to everything up front. So they're getting 100% of the money. We're getting 100% of the risk. Do not do this. So came back, a, a broker that I knew through another recommendation, not through the mastermind group, said, yeah, no problems, we can find that money. And they only found oh, us... Broker as in finance broker. Yeah, finance yeah. broker, beg your pardon, yes. And um, then they could only find us half the money. So then, <laughs> mistake number two, and system not following number two, I decided I'd fund the rest myself so I could get the deal over the line. And I remember being at a mastermind, and this is indelibly etched on my brain, but I was standing in front of the group, not on a stage, but just down there, and Jonathan got me to talk through this deal, how much money I was going to put in personally, all the rest of it, and he asked the room how many of them would do that deal, and not one person put their hand up. Not one. And by that stage, their lawyer had mucked us around for about four or five months, um, we were already starting to go through deadlines. Our lawyers were even copying what their lawyer needed to give us so their lawyer could just cut and paste. It really was a disaster. And I had my bag packed to go across to do the completion several times, and we just went through the deadlines. Their lawyers never responded. So in the end, I just went, that's it. I can't take the stress of this. And we paused that deal and walked away from it. So I'm one of the rare cases that we were talking about yesterday where I did have legal fees, but I'd stepped away for all the right reasons. Absolutely. But I didn't follow the system. So I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> so, so, so does it keep coming back to following the system? I think it might do, yeah, yes. I think, I think there's a little do. chance that it is. It is because that makes the difference. Yes. So, and since then, um, we've completed on one on 4th of July this year. Um, it was, it's a, a sort of hardware shop that also does sort of house raising stuff down in Sheerness and Kent, so about four hours away from where I live. But I don't want to work in the businesses. And if they're too close, there'd be a tendency if they had somebody off sick that I might just jump in the car. Because I love this stuff, it's fun. Um, so I purposely buying Central Belt Scotland downwards, so I can't do that. But that was the fourth letter that this guy had received. So by having four letters, he realised I was serious and then he thought, right, I'll pick up the phone. What's the worst that can happen? If I don't like it, we won't do anything. So we did this deal. Um, it's only a 300,000 turnover, it, but it made, and I've got my numbers so I know it exactly, it made £67,000 net profit in the last financial year. So again, it's quite nice. Um, I'm paying over three years and it's 90000 in total that I'm paying over three years. So years two and three will come from the actual business itself, although I will look for finance to pull that out rather than me putting, you know, as, that I can have that money. Um, but the initial money actually came from the loan that I'd got for the one that we aborted. So none of my money's gone into it. Okay, that's, that's a great start, isn't it? So, mm. so what, what would you say that you learnt that others could benefit from? The system is simple and it's easy to follow, but it's also easy to suddenly take a step off the tracks. And when you take a step off the tracks, that's when it starts going wrong. So we use your lawyers. At one stage, for um, we've got two more that are in legals at the moment. So once they all come out, our group will be about 1.5 million turnover. So I'm quite excited about that. My message from today is definitely go bigger. So I'm gonna go bigger. Yeah. Yeah. And, and go wider and up the supply chain and stuff. What, what's, the, what's the margin on, on that type of business? It's only about 20%. Oh, well, that's okay. Yeah, so okay. it's fine. So, so, so at 1.5, you'll have about 300 uh, yeah. to play with. Okay. Yeah, and then that'll help funding other deals and other bits that I'm doing and more letters and all the rest of it. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's very interesting. But because I've got the spreadsheet, then one of the... One, the so my next one is going to be three times the size of the one I've already bought. 
Um, and whereas I know my gross profit should be somewhere between about 46 and 54%, because I'm anal that way and I love numbers, these guys have only got a 24% gross profit because they buy so much stock. So I take 200 grand out of their buying straight to the bottom line. That's my money. And again, it's only about a year and a half worth of profit that I'm paying for it, but over four years. So um, what, what's your timeline on the other, on the other two? Um, so that we got the one that's paused completely, and I just keep in touch with them just to see mm -hmm. if anything's happened. Um, in theory, I was supposed to be completing on one on Monday and one on Friday, but they both just had what, a little... Ne next week? Yeah, like oh. tomorrow. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> but they've, um, one of them, the one tomorrow, has still got issues with the land registry because the, the oh, owner yeah. of the building did not do what they were supposed to do with the land registry, and they're still having a wee bit of problems with that one. So I would say within a month. You might be able yeah. to get an indemnity on that, you know. Mm. Yeah, there, there might there might be um, a way a way around that. Have we talked about we talked we about it before, talked haven't about we? Yeah, yeah, of course. And yeah. I think because it's been trundling for a wee while. But in all fairness, when I started to analyse and go back over my earlier deals, whereas I where I am now, then actually I'm much better in the negotiations, and I'm getting a much stronger deal for us now than I probably did back in those days. So I think there was yes. an element of us being a motivated buyer as well. Yeah. Um, because we wanted to get. I was so keen to get something over the line. Yeah, but your, your um, criteria starts to tighten, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. You, know, you, you say, actually, I want a business of a certain size. Yeah. Um, and you're prepared to go out of your comfort zone. Where at the beginning, you know, we do stick closer yes. to our comfort zone, yeah. don't we? absolutely. So, you know, when we're going through that discovery call, if it's not really now about half a mil turnover, we're not interested. Sorry for interrupting your video, but I wanted to introduce you to a great lawyer in the UK who can get your deals done for you. He's worked for 50 of my mastermind clients in the last few months alone. His name is John Andrews, and I've got his details right here in my little black book of contacts. You can phone him on 0345 241 2494, or you can email him on johnandrews.deallawyer at jmw.co.uk. If you want someone who can get a deal done, he is your guy. So let's get back to the video. Because we need to have enough staff, enough profits to actually make that worthwhile. And as we were talking about yesterday, the hassle of having something that's smaller actually is, is way more than if you have something bigger. So I've been buying stuff with staff teams. So before I came here, the one that we have bought, and they, that owner, again, he used to have the business with his brother. His brother had retired, but was still getting paid from the business, which the owner shared with us. Um, he ran everything. He didn't let the staff do anything. Um, his, he was creating a lifestyle business um, for him and his wife. His wife suddenly died, so he didn't want to be there in the business. So listening to them, finding out what their problem is, and then seeing how you can use that tool bag from yesterday to actually find the right tools that are help going to remove their problem. So we had just a seven-week completion, and we went for Independence Day. And I made the point of making it independence, so that was in his head, that he, this was going to be his independence from the business he didn't want to be around. And he moved heaven and earth with his lawyer to make sure it happened. So uh, that, little things like that make a difference. I think you can see from the way Alison talks, it's, it's about, it is about building that relationship, but also having a business edge to it. Otherwise, it's just you, you make a new friend. And we're not making new friends, no. are we? We're being no. friendly but not making friends. Yeah. But understanding the motivation of the seller allows you to, to do a deal that works for them, but also mm -hmm. it has to work for you at the yeah. same time. Yeah, very much so. So I have to have a minimum turnover. I have to have a minimum number of staff to be there. I need a manager to put in place. So the guys that I was seeing just before I came here, we started talking to them about strategy. So they are going to start setting the targets for the business for the next financial year. I'll add to it, I'll support them, but at the same time, if they're committed to it, they're more likely to hit those targets than if I just came along and went, right, I want you to do this, this, this now. So yeah. I'll still get my this, this, this in, but I'll make them think that they've done it. Uh, you've added an EPOS system, haven't you? Yes, yes. So I know how much the money they took last night, which is that anywhere in the world thing. Um, I also know what the top so sellers can I, can were. I ask, do, you, can you, yes. do you do that on an app? Um, I actually do it on my laptop. Okay, so, so you can look into your laptop and see how much yeah. 
does, does the shop take cash? We do. It's about 50-50. Okay, okay. So, but you, so you can see the credit card receipt. Oh, yeah. can you see the cash as well? Yeah. Oh, you, oh, you can see everything. Fantastic. I can see absolutely everything. Okay. So I know that yesterday, um, the Isle of Sheppey has a mouse problem, and my top selling thing was a pack of four mouse traps. Not very glamorous, but it's a fact. <laughs> and I make good margin on them. So we get rid of the wheat very critters, and I make money. So that works. <laughs> so, so, so projecting forward, yes. when you have your, your, uh, your, your equivalent of, of Robert mm, Dyers, Dyers yes. um, you'll be able to see exactly what's happening in each location, yeah. but also fulfill your personal ambition of living in sunnier weather. Yeah. Um, and, and move, moving around the world, yeah. but from your laptop, you can still operate the business. Yeah, and as we grow, we're bringing in more management team. Um, so I've got an interview on Thursday, like Phil has on Tuesday, with the CFO centre to get a part-time CFO, because I need to bring in more funding and have the numbers more structured, because I want to get a 10 million group with 2 million EBITDA, then that's when I move on yeah. to my next group. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, this is too much and you fun. always do it better than the time before. Yeah, absolutely. So the next time around, we want more repeating income. Um, so the subscriptions, the other stuff that we can have coming in on a regular basis, rather than relying on selling. But most of the guys I'm buying, they aren't even online, even with a Facebook page. So um, we did a sort of an advent calendar online. We've, we've gone from naught to a thousand people on the Facebook page of the shop within three months. All right. So we had some so, good so, advertising. So, so, so. So, so bring, bringing these businesses into the sort of 21st century. Yeah. I was talking to someone at, uh, at dinner last night uh, who was saying that it's clear that there's like different, different approaches. Some people want, mm. to be, want to be involved, want to be hands-on, and some people want to be completely hands-off. Mm. And it's not like one's right and one's wrong. It's a matter of personal, yeah. personal choice. Yeah. And you've kind of got... It, it feels to me like you're, you're certainly hands off, and that's helped mm. by it being four hours yeah. away from <laughs> you. Um, but of course, you care enough to be involved to think yeah. about the next deal and how yeah. you integrate and so forth. Absolutely. So, I've got a WhatsApp group with the manager, um, with my husband as well, so we can be sharing comments and questions and theories on a daily basis yeah. if we need to, although she knows we're not going to necessarily answer within like half an hour. Um, we also speak regularly on the phone. I was going down about once a fortnight to begin with for the first couple of months, um, but now I'm at the stage where, unless we've got something planned, I can be six to eight weeks before I go down and visit them again. Oh, right. And the business is running, and they know what their, their targets are, what they're allowed to spend, all the rest of it, so they're managing the business for me. Oh, that's, that's, that sounds good. Yeah. so good. So could you share with everyone um, one of the top things that you've learned from Mastermind? System. Okay. Follow the system. Don't step off the system. Don't start making cock-ups because you've stepped off the system because actually your life will be a lot le easier in the process. And definitely that thing of just keep going bigger. Amazing. Thank you, Alison. Thank you.